Hey fellow book lovers. Hello. Today it's Nate. And it ain't me. And we wanted to share a book with you. Yep. And this one is going to be kind of funny. It's one that you have heard of. So stay tuned. Hey, so thanks for uh, thanks for sticking in with us. Uh, we wanted to share a book with you that I am positive you have heard of before. It starts Unless... with a hair and ends with a tur. It starts with a hair and ends with a tur. And right in the middle, there's a paw. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to talk about Harry Potter with you because uh the first book we've we've both read it and we really like it mm-hmm. and so we thought that'd be a lot of fun to share with you even though you probably have read it or seen the movie um we're gonna assume that you haven't and <laughs> try not to give any spoilers even though most people on earth i think have either read or seen it can i tell you something you the should book, tell them the something. book is better than the the book is better the than pre- the, the The, the movie is like a preview. Okay. The movie is like a preview. Yeah. I would agree with you. And that's what we're going to talk about. Why you should read Harry Potter. If you haven't. Or if you have. Maybe why you should read it again. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. This is what the book looks like. So. We've got this one. For our British friends. And this one for our English friends. This one for English. We've had this book so long that the cover's gone. And so it just has the cool letters on Wait, the spine. Wait, what? There used to be words there on it? There used to be like a cover with like pictures and stuff. But wait, we're not even in the right clothes for this, right? Really? No. Now we're ready, right? Okay. I don't even know what this spell is. What, should, what spell should we use? Quibbler. That shows up in one of the other books, right? All right. Three, two, one. Quibbler! <laughs> okay. Oh, we won't do that spell again. So we wanted to talk to you about some some of our favorite questions, our things about the book that we liked, and etc. Okay? So should we go through our list? Okay. So, item number one. What did you like about the book? The magic. You liked the creatures? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you remember which creatures show up in book one? Uh, trolls. I'm pretty sure there's a unicorn. There's, um, the, what is it called? The half man, half horse. Oh yeah, centaur? Yeah. 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 Okay. So those are kind of the things you like. What I liked about it was the characters. I felt like the characters uh, were very like full, complete characters. They were thought a lot about before they ended up in the story. Um, so I enjoyed that part. Um, I enjoyed the setting. So the world of Harry Potter is really fun, right? And the magic is really fun too. Like it makes you wish that you could do some of the things that they get to do in the story. Like fly on brooms. Like fly on brooms. Totally, right? Or see a dragon. Yeah, or transfigure things. Um, I like the relationships that the characters have with each other. Um, I think that part's really fun. And um, I liked the format. I like that the book is set up. So it just talks about like a year in the life of a child. Um, In this case, Harry Potter. Harry Potter and his friends, they go to school. They learn a whole bunch of things at school. And then the story ends when they go on summer break again. All right, so a quick little break here from our regular review because I wanted to talk about the artwork of Harry Potter. Obviously there's movies, lots of fan art, there's lots of stuff out there for Harry Potter, but I wanted to talk about the artwork of the books because I don't have the cover anymore for the first one, Um, but honestly I didn't love the covers for the first one and that's kind of one of the reasons why I never read them originally. I have to say though, I love the illustrations on the inside of the book. 
like these are called spot illustrations and they're really fun. This is for like the US version of the book because there's different ones all around the world um, with different artwork that's supposed to inspire the people that live in those respective countries or parts of the world. Um, so anyways, the spot illustrations are really fun. Um, and even just the way that they write Harry Potter, just the look of the books, the colors of the cover, really cool. But I wanted to share this one. I got this one. This is like the British or maybe just European in general, but the artwork at least that was made for um, England and Great Britain. Um, super cool cover. I'll hold, hold that up a little bit closer so you can see like Harry Potter. It's got him and his friends. They're riding in the boats at the beginning of the story, seeing Hagrid going to the castle. And I saw this one, I was like, okay, that is a cool cover that makes me want to read the book. And that's something that I really care about. Look at that back too. There's an owl right there carrying a letter. Super cool. It's the little touches like that. It's this gold, um, this gold foil that's stamped into the cover. Um, just super pretty the way that that looks. So anyways, had to do a quick little clip and show, share this artwork because the artwork in this case, super inspiring. Check it out. What did you not like about the story? How they swear. That they swear? Yeah, sometimes swear words do show up in the stories, right? I feel like for the most part, uh, they're clean enough that kids can listen to them. Like, I don't regret letting you. But I would say it would help if your kids are either really mature or if you read it with them and you can talk to them about things that show up in the story. Yeah, that you can talk about them because especially as the series moves along, it moves out of middle grade and moves into like teen or young adult. Um, as Harry Potter and his friends get older, you start to run into bigger problems, right? Like, he who must not be named. Or Voldemort, whatever you want to call him. Um, Voldemort, Voldemort. And uh, what I would say I didn't like about the series, I would say that it took me so long to read the first book. That's what I would say. It did take me a really How long, long time. How long? I didn't read it until I was, like, in college. I know. Crazy, huh? Yeah. I kind of skipped over. I watched the movies, and the first book I read was book number six. So, yeah. All right. Um, I started in order. I'm like you. Yeah, you you are you are better than me. Who were your favorite characters? All of them. All of them. Except for Professor Quirrell. Yeah. Oh, you even like Professor Snape. You didn't exclude him. You must like him. He's kind of. Yeah. Because he turns out uh, trying to save them. Okay. He has some redeeming qualities, right? Like when he's trying to save Harry from falling out of his broom. Even though it doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, so my favorite characters are Harry, Hermione, and Ron. Really like that that trio and of Jenny. characters. She shows up at like the beginning. Yeah, you can like her if you want. I'm choosing mine right now. Um, I like Ron's family. Like, they're so funny. Yeah, they're funny and there's like lots of characters like the twins. Fred and George. Yeah, Fred and George are awesome. Percy. His parents are great. Percy. You really like Percy? Yeah. He's a prefect. He's a prefect. And then I like Hagrid. Did you like Hagrid? Yeah. Dumbledore? Yeah, he has a dog. You like his dog too. Um, I like Lee Jordan. I like his character. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's really funny. He's the, the one that does all the announcements. At first, I thought he was a girl. For the games. Oh, you thought so? Um, I like McGonagall. And I like the ghosts. The ghosts, if you just watch the movies, you're going to kind of think that the ghosts aren't really a thing. They're much more of a thing in, in the books. In the movie, um, I mean, in the book, there's a ghost that's not in the movie. Yeah, there's, there's a one. ton more that goes on. So if you skip the books, you'll miss out on all of this stuff, including lots of interaction with the ghosts and stuff that's going to happen, not even in just book one and all the other books, too. So next question, favorite part 
What was your favorite part, Ainsley? See, I, I kind of said all of it in a way. I said, where to start? Where to start? Agreed. <laughs> Agree. Um, I like, though, I like um, the setting up of the story. I like kind of setting up the series with book one, how it does that. Um, I like the classes that they go to. Like the classes are a lot of fun. Um, I like Diagon Alley and the magic of Diagon Alley. And, um, first goes there. So cool, right? All the description that goes on uh, in the magic and him getting to travel there with Hagrid. And him getting an owl. Getting an owl. With Hagrid. Such a fun introduction to the world of magic because it shows up at the very beginning. In the book, there's a lot more before he goes there. Um, but when he first gets there, it's just like, it's so immersive in a fun oh, way. Oh, I know what I don't like. Okay. They're, they're pretty, they're pretty good at being bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also like Quidditch. I think Quidditch is a fun sport that they made up. And wizarding chess. And wizard's chess. Yeah. Good call. Um, so lots of fun things that you can find in these stories. So I think you'll like them. All right. Okay. So kind of the last question that we usually go over is who would you recommend this to? Everyone. Everyone? I kind of agree with that. For Most people, people would like read. this. People that don't read, read might not like <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, so I said, if you like middle grade books, you like this one. Oh, gosh. This is not going to end up well. Um, or if you like the movies, you like the books. Um, and I think it's one of the best books ever made. Um, it's just, it's great on so many levels. And if you're looking for a book to get your kid interested in reading, uh, it's a good one to go with. So anyways, those are kind of the things that we like to cover with this. Um, yeah. So anyways, I encourage you to check it out. Either check it out at a library or buy it or listen to it. If you listen to it on Audible... It is pretty amazing. The narrator, uh, his name is Jim Dale, and his narration is fantastic. The characters are so good, right? You've listened to those, right? Uh, At least the first one. I read all. Oh, you read all of them? Oh, you'll have to listen to them sometime, too. I, I, we'll have I, to hook I, I that up. I want to read them. I've listened to them all, too, and I, I really enjoy listening to Jim Dale. He's one of my inspirations for when I narrate my own stories. So, anyways, hope you... I do. I do sometimes. I, I love books so much that I have to make some myself. I hope you've enjoyed our book review of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Stone, if you're in England. And, yeah, we encourage you to go out there and read some books. Anyways, the, the world needs, needs great people like you, interested in books and stories and sharing your stories uh, with others. So... Go jump into a good book today, and we will check in with you guys later. See ya. But this book has been around for so long that it lost its color. I mean, just like this one. This one's got a cool cover too, right? Oh, like it has just stars. Yeah. It's super, very pretty. Though. He used to have uh, one of those. Yeah, exactly. They had one of those, and that's gone. Does yeah. it get ripped up? No, but it's gone now. So, anyways. All right. Right. <laughs> okay, good point. Touche. You still have to those cool. I don't know any spells for that. Alright. Okay. Oops. The world needs. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Change a <your> ring! <laughs> um. 
not perfect. They're spelled very similarly. Ainsley ran into that problem. Why does it say he's so perfect? <laughs> yeah. It looks just like it. But they just <laughs> mixed the R and the E around. Um, There's gotta be an easier way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Quick little moment, quick little video break here. Um, yeah, we will in just one second, okay? Let me finish filming this, okay? <laughs> you are doing an amazing job coloring that dragon. Okay. Oh, beautifully inside the lines. It's okay to color outside the lines though sometimes, right? Yeah. <laughs> but this is really good practice for you, so good job, girl. Okay. Can you be quiet for like one minute? And I'm gonna make a little video clip, okay? All right, thank you, love you. Okay. Okay, Dad, I'm gonna put the spell on, and you're gonna freeze, because this is a freezing spell. It, de it depends on what kind of spell you're gonna do. As long as it's not the trick. So what they do to um, their friend. No, oh, that one. No, it just freezes you in exactly the spot that you're in. I don't think this is a good idea. In fact, I think I should do it to you. <laughs> I didn't even freeze you! <laughs> you missed it. My wand was pointing up. If anything, I froze Mom through the ceiling. No. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> no, it hit the ceiling and then it bounced back. Oh, it bounced back. Yes. Ricochet! Ricochetra! I don't know how to make uh, words sound Harry Potterish, I guess. Okay. Okay.